Hello friends, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we shall solve a couple of simple numerical problems on single phase transformer using its EMF equation. Problem number 1. The high voltage winding of a single phase transformer has 480 turns and is fed from 6400 volt 50 hertz supply. We have to determine the peak value of flux in the core and the output voltage if the low voltage winding has 20 turns. Let us jot down the given data. Supply frequency X equals to 50 hertz. Supply voltage V1 equals to 6400 volts. Number of turns on high voltage side N1 equals to 480. Number of turns on low voltage side N2 equals to 20. Induced EMF in the high voltage winding E1 equals to 4.44 Fn1 phi m that is approximately equal to V1. The peak value of flux in the core phi m equals to V1 divided by 4.44 Fn1 that is equal to 6400 divided by 4.44 into 50 into 480 that gives us 0 0.06 Weber. For a single phase transformer E1 by E2 equals to N1 by N2 that is approximately equal to V1 by V2. The output voltage V2 equals to N2 by N1 into V1. Using values we get 20 divided by 480 into 6400. That gives us 266.67 volts. Problem number 2. A 10 kVA single phase transformer has its high voltage winding connected to 2 kV supply. It has 60 turns on its low voltage winding and the output voltage obtained is 240 volt. Assuming the transformer to be an ideal one, we have to calculate the number of turns on the high voltage winding, the high voltage and low voltage winding currents on full load. Let us first jot down the given data. KVA rating of the transformer S equals to 10. Number of turns on the low voltage side N2 equals to 60. Value of high voltage side voltage V1 equals to 2 kV that is equal to 2000 volt. Value of Low voltage side voltage V2 equals to 240 volts. For a transformer E1 by E2 equals to N1 by N2 which is approximately equal to V1 by V2. The number of high voltage winding turns N1 equals to V1 by V2 into N2 that is equal to 2000 divided by 240 into 60 that gives us 500. For a single phase transformer S equals to V1 into I1. The value of high voltage winding full load current I1 equals to S by V1. That is equal to 10 divided by 2 that gives us 5 ampere. Again for a single phase transformer S equals to V2 into I2. The value of low voltage winding 
full load current I2 equals to S by V2. That is equal to 10 into 10 to the power 3 divided by 240. That gives us 41.67 ampere. Problem number 3. A single phase 50 hertz transformer has 80 turns on the low voltage winding and 400 turns on the high voltage winding. The net cross sectional area of the core is 200 square centimeter. If the low voltage winding is connected to 240 volt 50 hertz supply, we have to determine the EMF induced in the high voltage winding and the maximum flux density in the core. Let us first jot down the data given. Supply frequency F equals to 50 hertz. Supply voltage V2 equals to 240 volts. Number of turns on the high voltage winding N1 equals to 400. Number of turns on the low voltage winding N2 equals to 80. Net cross sectional area of the code A equals to 200 centimeter square. That is equal to 200 into 10 to the power minus 4 meter square. We know for a transformer E1 by E2 equals to N1 by N2 which is approximately equal to V1 by V2. Therefore, expression for the EMF induced in the high voltage winding V1 equals to N1 by N2 into V2. Using values we get 400 by 80 into 240 that gives us 1200 volt. EMF induced E1 equals to 4.44 FN1 phi M which is approximately equal to V1. Therefore expression for the peak value of flux in the code phi m equals to v1 divided by 4.44 fn1. Using values we get 1200 divided by 4.44 into 50 into 400 that gives us 0 0.0135 OA bar. The maximum Flux density in the core Bm equals to phi m by A. That is equal to 0 0.0135 divided by 200 into 10 to the power minus 4. That gives us 0 0.6757 OA bar per meter square or 0 0.6757 Tesla. Problem number 4. The maximum flux density in the core of 250 volt by 3000 volt 50 hertz single phase transformer is 1.2 tesla. If the EMF per turn is 8 volt, we have to determine the number of turns on the high voltage and low voltage winding and area of the core. Let us jot down the given data. Supply frequency F equals to 50 hertz. EMF per turn ET equals to 8 volts. Value of high voltage side voltage V1 equals to 3000 volt. Value of Low voltage side voltage V2 equals to 250 volts. Maximum flux density in the core Vm equals to 1.2 Tesla. EMF per turn 
ET equals to E1 by N1, which is approximately equal to V1 by N1. Number of turns on the high voltage winding N1 equals to V1 by ET. That is equal to 3000 divided by 8. That gives us 375. Again, EMF per turn ET equals to E2 by N2, which is approximately equal to V2 by N2. Number of turns on the low voltage winding N2 equals to V2 by ET. That is equal to 250 divided by 8. That gives us 31.25 which may be approximated as 32. EMF induced in the high voltage winding E1 equals to 4.44 FN1 phi M. That is approximately equal to V1. The peak value of flux in the core phi M equals to V1 divided by 4.44 FN1. Using values we get 3000 divided by 4.44 into 50 into 375. That gives us 0.036 Weber. The cross-sectional area of the core A equals to phi m by b m. That is equal to 0.036 divided by 1.2. That gives us 0.03 meter square. Problem number 5. A single phase 50 hertz transformer has 30 turns on the low voltage side and 350 turns on the high voltage side. The net cross sectional area of the core is 250 square centimeter. If the low voltage side is connected to a 230 volt 50 hertz supply, we have to calculate the peak value of flux density in the core, the voltage induced in the secondary winding and the primary current when the secondary current is 100 ampere. The losses to be neglected. Let us first write down the given data. Supply frequency F equals to 50 hertz. Supply voltage V1 equals to 230 volts. Number of turns on the primary winding N1 equals to 30. Number of turns on the secondary winding N2 equals to 350. Net cross-sectional area of the core A equals to 250 centimeter square. That is equal to 250 into 10 to the power minus 4 meter square. Secondary current I2 equals to 100 ampere. EMF induced in the primary winding E1 equals to 4.44 Fn1 phi m which is approximately equal to V1. The peak value of flux in the core phi m equals to V1 divided by 4.44 Fn1. That is equal to 230 divided by 4.44 into 50 into 30. That gives us 0.0345 Weber. The peak value of flux density in the core Bm equals to phi m divided by A. That is equal to 
zero point zero three four five divided by two fifty into ten to the power minus four. That gives us one point three eight one four. Weber per meter square or 1.3814 Tesla. For a transformer, E1 by E2 equals to N1 by N2, which is approximately equal to V1 by V2. The voltage induced in the secondary winding V2 equals to N2 by N1 into V1 that is equal to 350 divided by 30 into 230 that gives us 2683.33 volt. When we neglect the no load current we get I1 into N1 equals to I2 into N2. The primary current when the secondary current is 100 ampere I1 equals to N2 by N1 into I2. Using values we get 350 divided by 30 into 100 that gives us 1166.67 ampere. So today we have solved a couple of simple numerical problems on single phase transformer using its EMF equation. Hope this lecture has been useful for you. If you have any question or suggestion, please drop it in the comment section below. If you have liked this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Thank you.